What's up guys? Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we're going to be learning about the A flat natural minor scale. Now in order to build a natural minor scale for any key, there are two methods that we can use. The first method has to do with making use of our knowledge of the relationship between major scales and natural minor scales. The second method has to do with using the formula. In this lesson, we're going to be using both methods. So yeah, let's start. So first of all, using the first method, what we're going to do first is to find the relative major scale that is related to the A flat natural minor scale. Now, in order to find the relative major scale that is related to the A-flat natural minor scale. What we're going to do is that we're going to move up by three half steps from the key of A-flat. So basically we're going to count up rather. So one, two, three. So we landed on the key of B. Therefore, this means that the B major scale is related to the A flat natural minor scale. Now, what does that mean? Well, this means that the set of unique keys that are in the B major scale are the same set of unique keys that are in the A flat natural minor scale. Now, in order to figure out the A flat natural minor scale, all we have to do is just play the B major scale starting from the key of A flat and finishing at the key of A flat and that and that is going to be our A flat natural minor scale so yeah let's do that so starting from the key of A flat so see that so that is the A flat natural minor scale. Let's do that again. Now, the other method that we could have used to figure how the A flat natural minor scale is by using the formula. So we're going to use that method now. Now, just before we do that, just to remind you, whenever you move from one key to the next key, without skipping any key that is known as moving by a half step so for example if i move from the key of a flat to the key of a that means that i've moved by a half step now whenever you move from one key to another key and you skip a key in between so for example if you move from the key of a flat to the key of b flat i've skipped the key of A in between. Therefore, that means that I've moved by a whole step. So moving from one key to another key and skipping a key in between is known as moving by a whole step. Moving, moving from one key to the next key without skipping any key is known as moving by a half step. So yeah, that's it guys. So we're now going to use the formula to construct the A flat natural minor scale and you're going to see that we're going to get the same answer as we did using the first method. So yeah, let's do that. So starting from the key of A flat, so we're going to take a whole step and then a half step and then a whole step and then a whole step and then a half step and then a whole step and then a whole step. See that? So that is the A flat natural minor scale. So yeah, we got the same answer as we did using the first method. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next lesson.